last mile speed meets last mile quality. Jim Waters is vice president of marketing with Freight. Hi, Jim. How's it going today? Good, this is an interesting topic to balance these two qualities of last mile delivery. So how is the demand for faster deliveries right now impacting logistics in last mile delivery? So I think in general, the uh, logistics community has pretty much trained people to understand that they can get their deliveries, you know, same day, within the hour even. Um, so that's managing expectations on mm -hmm. the customer side. But what we're failing to do is sometimes combine the quality um, of on time and in full with, uh, with that last mile. So it's not enough that people are getting their deliveries speedy. They have to be on time and in full. So the wrong thing shows up fast, not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> not good enough for me, not good enough for you. Yeah, and also the idea that in addition to speed, you want visibility. You want to know where 100%. your package is, how close it's coming to your doorstep, when it's going to show up, that kind of stuff too, right? Yeah, 100%. And it's not just the customer that needs to know or wants to know where their package is, um, but the shipper also wants to know where the delivery is as well. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if a driver is showing up at dock number seven to pick up a load and it's at dock number five, they just sit there and oftentimes that load won't get picked up, the driver will leave, yeah. um, and that affects the quality as well as the speed. One miscommunication just completely destroys the whole experience. Yep, absolutely, yeah. and that's your brand. I mean, the last mile is the last smile, as mm -hmm. we like to say. Okay, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> um, who are you seeing using last mile technology today and why? So great question. Um, so we work with uh, SD's Freight Forwarding. Um, they're a 3PL and a, a carrier, um, one of the largest in the US. So we're starting to see a lot of 3PL, 4PL um, logistics service providers that it's not that they can't manage the last mile, it's that they can't optimize that last mile. So in other words, if they need to get a package there same day or even within a four hour window, they often don't have the drivers or the fleet um, to take that on and that's where last mile delivery companies come in. Well, you've got these different parties. I can see it's rather complex because on one hand you have the online merchandise or the seller of the goods. Normally then you would deliver it to a transportation provider, but then you got a 3PL in the middle of that too. Yeah. So is information and communication flowing enough to make sure this happens in a streamlined way? It sounds like you're saying not necessarily. Uh, I am saying that studies have shown in 2023 that um, often that is not happening, <laughs> the communication is not happening. Mm -hmm. And especially in last mile, um, that's where the customer or as the customer might be a B2B customer, say a distribution center to a distribution center, um, it's, it's very important that uh, that communication channel is open, not only with, um, with the distribution center, but how about with the driver, right? Um, right? So we know, or we suspect that all the drivers, they don't want to be contacted um, directly by phone or text. Um, so, you know, oftentimes there's a platform for getting in touch with exactly that, just the driver. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've got the gig economy. How is that reshaping the world of last mile delivery? So it's making it good, um, if not better. Uh, at the same time, it has its drawbacks. So um, on the good side, it is giving people immediate access or carriers immediate access to not only drivers um, that are owner operators, but also extending their fleets. So if they don't have sprinter vans, all of a sudden you've got access to 5,000 sprinter vans on demand, um, at a price that is going to not only save you money, but it could become a revenue center as well. Mm -hmm. And then again, on the service provider side, you talked about optimizing. I assume that means that the, the ability to like consolidate deliveries to a particular area, so you don't keep coming back to the same place four or five times, one package each time. I guess that's the job of who? Is that the 3PL's job using uh, this technology or? Yeah, that's a great question too. I mean, uh, 3PL's, 4PL's, because of the number of services that they provide, um, might not provide last mile service and they need help with that. Um, but what we do like to see in the industry is that not only is the technology getting better, but there's new and exciting ways to manage that last mile, which is 
you know, pretty much um, the quality part of the journey for any shipment. Well, I would think we all have mobile phones now, including the gig deliverers and the like. You would think that everybody would be in constant communication with each other. I guess up to this point that hasn't necessarily been the case though? Um, Where's I the gap? Correct. I would say that 80% uh, of drivers do not want to be contacted and will not respond mm. um, until they're underway or until there's an issue. And even when there's an issue, if the platform is not there to get in touch with these parties, uh -huh. a last mile delivery goes bad. Okay, so how are advances in visibility and technology, again, let's build on that, what we talked about at this point, how are they affecting customer expectations in last mile delivery? So the customer already expects to get their package, if not same day, within the hour. Um, and not a lot of people can, can pull that off. Mm -hmm. But with the new communication and platform and technology that is hitting the market now, we are seeing that drivers in the gig economy are more apt to be communicating directly with the shipper or the carrier. So that whole visibility aspect is not only when the product gets picked up, mm -hmm. but also before it gets picked up. So is that driver 30 miles away and it's supposed to be picked up at 9 a.m.? Or are they two miles away and they're going to be on time? An ops team might be able to say, this guy is never going to make it to the pickup on time, and therefore it's going to be a late delivery. Mm -hmm. What does a customer want to know? I mean, I've had deliveries where sometimes I find out it's going to be there on a certain day, within a certain hour, and then all, sometimes you can look on and you can see, well, the truck is two blocks away from your house. I'm not sure everybody needs that or wants that, but is that the future, to be able to have that specificity of expectation as to when your package is really going to arrive? I think it is the future, and a lot of times the future is now. Um, I, I fall prey to the same thing. I order on Amazon all the time, mm -hmm. and when I see the van is three stops away, yeah. I start to get a little excited, especially if it's a golf club or you know something that I've been waiting on. Mm -hmm. But I think that right now, the expectation on the customer is get it there fast, but get it there without it being all busted up. And I, I, like I said, I, I fall prey to it all the time, but I'd rather have it next day and not same day and have it in good shape. So we're spoiled, aren't we? we yeah, we, we are as, spoiled. We as buyers are, have been spoiled by our providers and now our providers have to step up and meet the expectations 100%. that they created and now we have to, we have to, um, have to 100%. meet them. Through this visibility and technology, it sounds like we're really making some progress there. Thanks again, Jim. Take a moment, will you please, to tell me a little bit, though, about Freight, which is, by the way, F-R-A-Y-T. Who are you? So Freight is a last mile technology that allows shippers and carriers to be matched with gig economy drivers that are owner operators that are in every major geo city in America. And on demand, you can log in, um, get a quote on how much it would cost to move something from point A to point B. And uh, we put those two together so that you don't have to extend your fleet by offering or actually uh, employing new drivers when you just don't need new drivers. You might just need um, to augment your fleet. Jim, thanks again for talking to me about last mile quality, Pleasure. speed, a whole dynamic, and a little bit about freight as well, thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. I have been speaking with Jim Waters of Freight. Thank you very much for watching.